the story of a woman who tried to end her man after he gave her $10 million. Meet Melinda, the lovely woman who is going to shoot her husband, Robert, and try to cut him into small little chunks to feed sharks in the ocean for dinner at the end of this video. You know I can be the mother devil. She sounds delightful. All of this actually happened after Robert wrote a $10 million check just to show his appreciation to Melinda for being with him during the hard times of their marriage. Huh? If this is how she shows her gratitude, I would not want to get on her bad side. Now, you might be wondering, how did Robert end up on the shark's menu? He surely did something to drive Melinda from this to this. Short answer is Melinda was crazy. She was always crazy. There is something about my crazy. But Robert was still responsible for picking her. At the end of the video, I will show you how. The plot of this movie follows the sequence. Spoiler alert. Number one, how they met. Poor boy Robert meets girl Melinda from a middle income family whilst they're in college. Melinda helps Robert pay for his college and get a car. Robert cheats with a girl named Diana who will appear later in the story. Melinda finds out and attempts to kill these two as well as herself. Melinda forgives and marries Robert against her family's advice. Second part is their marriage. Robert worked on his invention, a battery that recharges itself for the greater part of 18 years that they were together. And he didn't bring any income to pay for basic expenses. Their marriage became strained, but they both stayed faithful. Robert's plan was to get Mr. Prescott, a wealthy man, to partner and invest in his invention which did not happen for a good 18 years. The breakdown of their marriage actually starts as Diana, the woman who Robert cheated with in the beginning of the story, comes back as an employee in Mr. Prescott's company. Robert meets with her in order to try and convince her to get him a meeting with her boss. She forgets her purse in the truck that Robert was driving at his new job. Melinda's sisters find out. They tell Melinda that they think Robert is cheating. And all hell basically breaks loose from here. I don't want this shit. I don't want Baby, I didn't do anything. Robert got an offer from Mr. Prescott for 800K on this same day for his technology and he declined it. Melinda went ballistic because she'd had enough of Robert for two reasons. She actually thought he was sleeping with Diana, right? She didn't have proof for this, but that didn't stop her anyway. She also was losing her mom's house through foreclosure because she had mortgaged it to support Robert's invention. She asked Robert to leave. From this exchange, we get this lovely one-liner. You know I can be the motherfucking devil. Robert becomes homeless. Robert's success. Diana called Robert and she finds out he was homeless, so she took him in. Prescott eventually comes around and makes Robert a $75 million offer. Nice. Robert offers Melinda a $10 million check, the fallout. Melinda tries to get back with Robert and finds out he's now engaged to Diana. I'm Diana, I'm Robert's fiance. There she was. From here on, Melinda became spiteful, vengeful, and envious of Diana and Robert. Melinda's family had to make sure she was supervised at all times, which they failed because she ended up sneaking out and sneaking onto Robert's yacht and confronted him and asked the crew to jump over the boat in the middle of the ocean. You better jump! <laughs> Melinda eventually tries to kill Robert by shooting him in the stomach. And then she tries to cut him up using an axe. For the whole world. Unfortunately, she dies in the struggle. So, the conclusion, as I have promised in the beginning of this video, let me break down why I think 
Melinda was crazy. She did not have a case against Robert. Well, how do I know? How do you know? Because he asked her what he did wrong. She could not make a coherent argument. You left me. False. She left him. You took the best parts of my life. Partly true, but they both took each other's best years. And she removed herself from what could have been the best years of their lives. But you gave that bitch my ring. False. Robert was always going to give those things to his current wife. Melinda was the one that decided to become the ex-wife. The only way this accusation could stick is if Robert withheld those things from Melinda earlier on in the marriage. As soon as he got the money, he gave her that money voluntarily. And that actually shows he would have given her that money or these things earlier. You promised those things to me, didn't you, Robert? Well, she also promised to be his wife forever, too. You left me! You didn't fight. You serious? Just out of curiosity, ma'am, what was the version of him fighting for you that you would take? Get out! You never loved me. Ma'am, that's not true. I loved you. How can she even be sure of this? Why are you here with her and not me? Well, because you dumbed him. Robert sets the record straight. He loved her. This is something Melinda knew and confessed to knowing on the day she filed for the divorce. After her friend said she believed Robert still loved her. I always believed he loved you. I did believe her. Melinda then asks Robert to get his wife to jump off the boat so that the two of them could be together. Wait a minute! Like a happy couple. No, she's not asking Robert to separate from the future mother of his kid. She's asking him to delete the future mother of his kid along with his unborn kid to prove his love for Bruh. her. Well, I might be a cynic, but if it takes deleting another person for you to be convinced that I love you, maybe, just maybe, Robert, you should be choosing the people you love wisely, my brother. Because at this stage of the story, it's clear someone chose poorly because this woman could possibly have borderline personality disorder but someone thought it was a good idea to marry her. I do feel bad for Melinda though. She really failed. She failed at the worst possible time as a wife. She did all the hard work. She was in the trenches over 18 years when Robert was literally a nobody. She supported him by working multiple jobs. The only problem is she gave up. She gave up a little too soon, just before her reward was about to come. This is what is so infuriating for Melinda. She feels She's entitled to Robert's success and wonders why everyone cannot understand how unfair this must be for her. Unfortunately, fair was now for her to get $10 million and leave Robert alone because she divorced him. You don't get to pocket Robert's $10 million and still get to complain about an apartment, a ring or a car you can buy yourself with the same money if you wanted to. Melinda's weaknesses progressively showed as Robert ascended in success, whilst Diana's strengths revealed her as the woman Robert needed at that stage of his life. Naturally, you can say Diana became the upgrade Robert never asked for. If you want to watch more content like this, make sure the YouTube gods know you like it by liking this video and following the channel.